Hey, what's going on, beautiful family? It's your sister Michelle here. Yep, doing a quick video about the narcissist. Of course, you know how we get down on this channel. I wish you nothing but love and light on your beautiful journeys, and I hope you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing. Drop down in the comments. I love you. I appreciate your support. Make sure you like and subscribe, okay? Make sure. You know how we get down, family. We real over here on this channel. That's how we do. I love you so much. Mwah. Let's get straight to the topic, though. Let's talk about the narcissist and how they will leave any supply, including the new supply, if an opportunity arises that they think they can benefit from. A narcissist will leave any supply if there's something greater they think they can benefit from. That is why a lot of times a narcissist has discarded you because they have fell for pipe dreams that the new person probably has fed them and don't know who they are or they're thinking that the new supply is. That delusion that they have. See, a lot of times a narcissist thinks with a new person, it's not just because they want a narcissist. Narcissists want new supply to make themselves feel better about themselves. A lot of times they're thinking that this new person is can provide to them more than what you did. And a lot of times what happens is they go into a situation telling this new supply everything that they want to hear and everything else. And they put this person on a high. And when they're on this high, they're telling them everything just like the narcissist is telling them. A lot of times the new supply is telling them the same kind of thing because they think they found something. Are we not all guilty in some kind of way? When I first met my new, well, I can say new supply because that mug is old as dirt. When I met my narcissist, I thought it was on cloud nine. So I opened up and started saying all these things like, yeah, you know, well, I've done this with my life and I'm trying to go here and I would like to have these dreams and I have people that love me that are willing to support me. Now I'm telling him all of these things just because I'm opening up thinking I found the right person. So I'm telling them all the details of the nitty gritty, the dreams, all of that, thinking this person's going to be a part of that, right? Oh, they're going to be a part of that. I found my match. They're going to help me probably reach my goals even faster than when I'm trying to reach it, right? So a lot of times with the narcissist, with the new supply, that's what's happening. They are only seeing that as a person. Oh, they're listening to you. Oh, I found out their family is good and they can get help from their family. Hmm, that means I can get help too. Oh, they're working hard and they're about to get a promotion and they're going to make more money. Hmm, means I'm going to get more money too. You see what I'm saying? Narcissists will leave any situation for something they think is better. Especially if it's a gain on their end. That's why a lot of times they end up hoovering back around when it's not the new supply necessarily. And a lot of times it is moment of silence for their ass. Anyway, it's not necessarily always the new supply that has failed is the delusion that has failed them. They get over there and once they the new person realizes what they are, why in the hell would you let them have those things now? You're a dirty bastard, a dirty bitch. I said it, YouTube, don't block me. Why would I now use my resources to make you better and all you're doing is abusing me? And once they do all this abuse to you and you shut down from all that and don't want to offer that to them, they're on to somebody else that maybe they can possibly do that to that will fall for the shit and actually do it. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of us, including myself, we do a hell of a lot for the narcissist. More than they ever deserved. More than they ever would ever get. And it's still never enough. The reason why it's never enough is because the mindset that they had was more grand than even what you thought it was. They're thinking you're strictly a come up and a come up only. And if you do not do exactly what in their mind thinks that they think needs to be done, you're out. They're going to go to somebody else they think that dream that they have in their mind is going to happen with. The perfect face, the perfect body, the perfect money. And even that doesn't make any sense because a lot of times they downgrade like hell. And we try to figure out why you downgraded because more than likely the downgrade is an illusion to them too. It's a delusion. Story time. I'll give you a brief story time. I told you before and I'm telling you, my narcissistic baby's father got a tribe of children, a whole small village. When I got with him, he realized the situation I was coming from, and I'm not going to get into that. It's personal. He knew that I had pretty much a lot going on at the time, I, you know, even more now that he's gone. But he thought he was going to come up on me. And after the abuse of all that, and my family realized what he was, we all were like, especially my family, like, I would never help this man. Okay, I would never help, I'll help you, but I would never help you to help him, right? And so once he realized that, he started looking for something. He's always been kind of looking for something else. That's what they do. And so he downgraded eventually to someone. But I find out later on years ago that she was saying the same kind of things. Now, that might be possible in her life. I do not know. But she was telling him the same thing. Well, my family is this or I got this and that. Turned out to be a total flop on that end. But he thought because she was saying all these things 
and tell him all these things, he had come up on something. Because he, he wasn't able to come up completely off of me because of the way he acted. That's how you know narcissists are really dumb. They don't even understand that if you did treat me right, and acted like you had some sense. Maybe we could have built to something wonderful. Maybe people that were helping me, that loved me, and everything else could have helped us build. But your abuse and your ways would never allow that to happen. And once they see that it's not happening like that, they go on. It don't matter who it is. They're always looking for something they think is going to be beneficial to them. And they will discard anyone, no matter what you got, no matter what you look like, high or low, if they feel like what they want from you, they're not getting. And they're going to go to someone else they think they, they can get it from. And as always, that never happens because they don't know how to act. No good for nothing. Demonic rats. They do not know how to act. And they never will. Trust me when I tell you that. You should already know that because you're smart. You're wonderful and you're amazing. Your sister knows that you are. Make sure you like and subscribe. Remember what I'm telling you. If you've been discarded by a narcissist, it's just your turn. It ain't nothing personal. They just knew that they can continue to do whatever they did to you and they cannot build anything with you any longer because you don't figure them out and the people around you don't figure them out. So they're on to the next. But that fails too, trust me. But they will leave anybody for their own personal gain. They really left you for your personal gain. Stupid asses don't even know that. See ya. Love y'all. Bye.